So what we're going to do now is just we're going to go ahead and minimize that. And you're just going to go to the start menu again. And you're going to go back to all programs. And back to QPST. And then we're going to go ahead and now we're going to do service programming. So this is where we actually get what we're trying to do accomplished. Um, one phone should be listed in here as long as you only have one phone connected. It'll say it's connected. Uh, it'll, it'll list the phone that you just connected. Otherwise, it won't be listed in here until you configure it. So we just, it's already selected, so we're just going to click OK. It's going to, um, we're going to, okay, so now here we go. Now we're in the QPST. This is where we're going to do all the work. This, we're gonna, first, we're going to click Read to Phone down in the bottom left-hand corner. Read to Phone. Um, oops, I didn't click it right. Okay, now it's going to ask you for your service programming code. Uh, Altel, Verizon, a few others. It's just going to be, I think it's six zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Um, if, if, that is not, if six zeros is not your code, then you're going to need to use uh, Git SPC. And I believe with that, you program, all you do is you just copy the, uh, the, that program over to your phone. And you, uh, there's an input. I think you put your ESN. Your ESN is under your battery of your phone. So you're just going to enter that in there. So mine's all zero, so I'll just go ahead and go through this. But basically, you just need to get your service programming code, SPC. Uh, mine's all zero, so I'll click all of that. And as you can see at the top, there's a little bar that's going across. And then it's going to populate this screen. That's good. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way over using these buttons over here. We're going to go all the way over until we see the GPS1 tab. We click on that. Uh, mine's already been filled out, but yours, yours will have gray check boxes, and this will all be blank. What you want to do is you want to go through and you're going to disable them all so they're all blank that way, and then just come right back up and re-enable them that way. Seems kind of strange, but do that. That's an important step. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the IP address information, the, the PDE IP, the PDE port, the PDE transport, and the position calculation, and you're going to plug all that data in. That is all on post number two of this thread. So you basically just scroll down to post number two, and you can see there's the all tell information. I laid it out just as it goes in there, bell, cricket, all of that. So you know, you're going to want to... Um, uh, go back to the page to get that data. All right, so you plug all that data in, and without changing tabs, you're going to go ahead and click right to phone. Now, don't go, don't, don't change tabs, and then and then click right to phone because sometimes the data doesn't get written properly. And then basically, you're just going to click right to phone, which I'll go ahead and do. And then you'll see the bar going across the top, and it's all done. Now, once that's done. Um, you can see that now that I've got the connection, the, the, the numbers are going, the numbers are moving right here in, uh, on the phone. So once that's all done, the uh, best thing to do is just go ahead and click the exit button right there on the phone. Click exit. Stop now. You're going to go ahead and click yes. Uh, the connection. You can close this out. If you don't close it out real quick, it'll say the connection was lost. Um, so that's, that's what that happens. Yeah, warning, the connection was lost. Don't worry about any of that. You can just go ahead and close all that out. Do you want to save? Click no. Um, if you want to, uh, in that same program, I'll go ahead and load that up for you real quick. In that same program, you can uh, create a backup after you read from the phone. You can, you can, cl you can create a backup of it. Uh, it's, up, it's up to you. I would recommend doing that. Kind of skipped over that part. So basically, okay, so your GPS uh, is all configured. So then all you need to do is just go into your phone, find the cab file, install the cab file that was the registry file, and um, soft reset your phone. You also need to make sure that you go into your phone and you press um, menu. And then you go into the options here. And all I did was click on options. I might not have the phone in the right spot. Um, click on options. Go into services. Location setting. Get setting. And you make sure that that's turned on. And you click OK. OK. And just close all that out. Then after that, basically just disconnect the phone. Give her a good soft reset. And you should be good to go.
and that's basically all you got to do. Best thing to do is uh, go load up Google Maps and um, give it a sh test out. Now the other thing is to make sure of, just while we're here, um, go into your settings and under external GPS, make sure it says COM4 under the hardware tab. Make sure it says uh, GPS hardware port 9 and then 4800 is the baud rate and access uh, just manage GPS automatically. Um, and you're going to have to configure some of the programs uh, to work properly. Um, for instance, in uh, Google Maps, which I'm, I'll show you really quick while we're here. In Google Maps, um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into the options and then GPS settings and then just leave it on manage uh, by Windows. Don't change that. Don't set manage manage. Just make sure you leave it there and you save that. Now in Live Search though, you're going to want to do it differently. In Live Search, you just actually have to set the COM port you want to use. So you go into menu, settings, see if it loads up here and then you're going to set the GPS COM port all you're going to do is just click it and it's open and click COM4 so that's how you do it in there and just click done now the uh, the new version of live search out there which I don't have on this phone yet it says get location that's not going to work uh, the only way it's going to work is if you load up the map click use GPS and then and then once it establishes a GPS connection you're good to go from there but basically yeah that's about it um, read, read over the forums post number one and number two if you need uh, any further information other than that good luck